No code, no code, no code. I constantly hear people talking about it, but I think most people don't really understand what no code actually is. And for those who do, some don't really understand how it affects them. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what no code is 101, and I'm also gonna be telling you a couple of the major questions that people constantly ask. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Christian and if this is your first time, this channel is dedicated for non-technical people to learn how to build businesses without writing a single line of code. So if you're building an app or website, you'll get awesome tricks and tips. So subscribe please if you haven't already. We would love to have you as part of our community. You can also ask questions, drop a line about what next video you'd like us to shoot. We will absolutely help you in your journey. So first of all, what is no code? No code is also known as visual development. And it's actually a way to build software without writing a single line of code and without understanding coding language at all. Now, it's usually in the form of these drag and drop tools that allow you to build simple or complex solutions without coding. So you can build apps, you can build websites, you can build SaaS platforms, you could build marketplaces, you can build all sorts of different apps these days without having to code or without having to hire expensive developers or constantly having to negotiate translating your vision to developers. There are many, many reasons why it's important to learn no code. So let's first dive into a little bit of history. Back in the day, the way we interacted with computers and told them what we wanted them to do was through these punch cards that you would put inside computers probably the size of your entire home or building. And those ones and zeros, which were re represented by those little punches in the punch cards, would tell the computer what to do because a computer only digests ones and zeros. And I'm sure you're familiar with that. But over time, and as processing power of computers got better, we actually created this language, these programming languages, which would allow us to communicate to a computer without putting in ones and zeros with punch cards. So that gave birth to a huge number of programming languages, some which have disappeared over time, and right now there are just so many out there. Now, over time, what we realized was that that was really the process of writing individual lines of code into a what we call a console to be able to tell the computer what we wanted to do. So it was a language, but what visual development is, is really just a way to be able to drag and drop features, to be able to create the designs, kind of like you would do in PowerPoint, and then create the logic behind the designs, kind of like you would do in Excel. And so it's a much more effective way of building software, specifically when you're non-technical. So what you have to understand is that no code refers to a set of tools, right? So we can think back in 2010, you had some no code tools like, for example, uh, Wix or Squarespace or Shopify. Now these were awesome because you didn't have to learn how to code to be able to build things, but it only really allowed you to build things like uh, websites, landing pages, and maybe online stores. With no code, there's this entire new generation of tools that allow you to do much more exciting things with tools tools like Airtable, like Webflow, like Bubble, like Softer, like Integromat, which is now called Make, like uh, Zapier, like so many platforms are coming out. There are probably 1,200 platforms that consider themselves no-code tools. And so it's very complex these days to figure out which one is right for what I'm building, which one is the right platform for what I'm building right now. Maybe it won't be the perfect one for what I'm building in the future. And it can be a little bit overwhelming because everyone's using the term no-code. What I usually refer to when it comes to no-code, there are really two things, either a tool used to actually build the software itself, or it's a tool that's used to automate systems without writing a single line of code. So that is the overview of no code itself. But the exciting thing is that these tools, these modern no code tools that really started about five years ago, are getting hundreds of millions of dollars of funding from investors. And we also see that some of these platforms are being built with no code tools themselves. And that we have people who are building startups with no code who are raising millions of dollars. We have them getting into some of the top accelerator programs. And we also are seeing a huge rise in solo non-technical entrepreneurs. These days you can literally be alone. And if you have 
a internet connection, maybe a phone, and simply the ability to use social media, well then you can learn some of these no-code tools incredibly quickly and build things fast. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us to continue to add value to you. You can also go and sign up for a free course below that's gonna teach you the step-by-step -step of how to build your startup cost-effectively without technical skills. On top of that, we have a free toolkit that'll allow you to get $1,500 worth of credit for no-code tools. So join, check that out, definitely, and start learning because this is going to affect everything. So this kind of brings us into the benefits. What I usually talk about here is this graph that I saw that was created by a venture capital firm that talks about no-code as the new way of building software. Then the old model being building companies leveraging code, right? So the way they compared it was the time to build went from about nine months to maybe 12 months, all the way down to about six weeks to build leveraging these no-code tools. When we talk about the cost, we used to be talking about $50,000 to hire a team of front-end developers, back-end developers, designers, et cetera, et cetera. Now one person can do it for less than $1,000. So it's also way cheaper to build. And in addition to that, it is way faster to learn as well. Now before it used to take about three years to become a good developer, but now we're talking about it taking three months. And in many cases, in just a couple of weeks, you can learn some of these tools and use them for what you're trying to solve. So it's incredibly powerful. And as you can imagine, it is completely revolutionizing product development, entrepreneurship. It's gonna play a huge part in the future of work. It's already making huge impact in the future of education. And I can tell you, in a world where more than 99% of the world does not know how to program or code or doesn't understand coding languages, this is going to be the best way to democratize this movement and to also level the playing field because technology is a huge competitive advantage. Now, some questions that I often get when it comes to no code are, is it scalable? The answer is a couple years ago, it was not. It was very difficult. You could only build things that you can get maybe a thousand users towards. Now some of these platforms allow you to literally scale to 100,000 monthly active users. And I see people being really worried, oh, well, what happens once we go beyond a couple hundred thousand users? I always say that's an awesome problem to have. You should probably not focus on that right now because honestly, it's kind of like worrying about any future problem that could happen before anything actually happens. It's just worrying and every single product has to evolve. So every platform you know, whether it's Twitter, Airbnb, Uber, had to be completely rebuilt as it scaled out to further people. So if you're trying to build a business, don't be too worried about the future limitations that might be presented in building your products if you leverage no-code tools. Focus more on the fact that this is an incredible way to get things off the ground, to build software, to get first paying customers, bring it to market. So yes, it is scalable. Another thing that people ask is, what about the intellectual property? Well, usually when you get someone to build the platform for you, you have to get them to sign a contract that gives you the IP rights, intellectual property rights behind what they're building, right? Because it's a job done for hire. In the case of no code, since you're building it yourself, you literally don't have to ask anyone for the IP. It's not owned by anyone else but yourself. And it's definitely not owned by the platform who allowed you to build with it. And in the words of a notorious investor from Silicon Valley called Jason Kalkanis, the ability to go from idea to $250,000 in annual revenue without ever hiring a developer is the biggest improvement for non-technical entrepreneurs and it's gonna have the biggest effect on our society and entrepreneurship as a whole. So this is no joke. This is happening right now and it's already entering the future of workforce, future of education, as well as the future of entrepreneurship. I hope the video was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Really enjoy creating them and ask any questions below you might have about no code, happy to answer. Take care and have a great day. My name's Christian and we will be back my friends. Thank you.